All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at creating some IK spline control for our straps. To do that, let's go up to the rigging menu set. We'll go to skeleton and go to create IK spline handle. For this, if I reset the tool so you can see what it normally says, I'm going to turn off auto parent curve and auto simplify curve. Um, and let's go in and just use this tool now. We're going to click on that first spline, that first joint right here. Um, and then we're going to click on the final joint in the chain. It's going to create a IK um, handle, which may not right now be visible, but I'll turn that on. And you can see it right there. It's that big green line that's coming down and ends in this IK handle. Now, um, at first, this doesn't really look like it's that useful because if I click on the IK handle, I can't easily move it around. But there are alternative ways for us to move this. So uh, to show you what the power of this is, let's just go in real quick. I'm going to turn off visibility of IK handles just simply because they have a high selection priority. Um, I'm also going to go in and turn off the, select, the visibility of joints. And um, also, I'll turn off the, the visibility of the uh, polygons. Uh, just use Alt-2 to turn off polygons and make sure that my NURBS curves are on. Uh, it's Alt-1 turns those on and off. And then I'm left behind with this curve here. Um, this curve is what was created as part of that IK spline tool. This curve is actually what's going to help us animate. So if I right-click on this curve and go to Control Vertex, it's going to show me or it should show me all the control vertices here. There's a little error that's displaying uh, because of just a slight problem in this scene, which I'm going to fix real quick and then just restart. So it's going to pause the video. Okay. And so if I just do that again, go to control vertex, we can now see the control vertices that exist on this curve. Um, right now, if I grab any one of these control vertices and move it around and I have the joints and the geometry on as well, you'll see that it is actually moving the strap handle as well as parts of the bag over here too, which it shouldn't be, but that's something we can paint skin weights on later on. Um, so these individual control vertices can have a lot of control over how we move these strap handles. Unfortunately, we don't want our animator to have to go in all the time and grab stuff at the component level. So we're going to make it a little bit easier for the animator. I'm going to turn off the visibility of joints again. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create something called clusters. So go to control vertex. Let's start at the top up here. This will be our first cluster. And I'm going to grab the first three control vertices there. I'm going to go to rigging, deform, cluster. And that creates this little C icon here. What the C icon does now is it is a automatic selection for those three control vertices that we just had selected. So whenever we're selecting this, it's like we're selecting all three of those. We're going to do that again for these as we go down the line. We're going to do it for these two here. Just hit G to repeat the last command. Create another cluster. And go to control vertex. So that was those three have already been done. These two have already been done. We want to make sure we're not repeating any. We just want to make sure we're getting them all, but not repeating any. So go and create another cluster there. And these two. And these two. G to repeat the previous command. And finally, we'll finish off with these three here. All right, so those clusters make it a little bit easier to select, but they're still not the easiest selection. Um, well, let's just see what kind of behavior we're getting with those in place. So let's turn our joints back on, show joints, rotating things, okay? You see that this one over here where we haven't put the clusters in, they are, it's, it's not behaving the same way as it is over here. This one, stuff's getting left behind, which is okay. Uh, we'll take a look at how we can create some hierarchies to help with that later on. But this does allow us to go in, if I turn off uh, joint visibility, to grab a cluster here, for instance, just a cluster. I'll grab it directly from over here, maybe that one. See that that's now moving that strap pretty nicely. Ignore what's happening here for now. All right, so that is one way to get started. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing now for this other side, so I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. 
Okay, now we have all the clusters created. Probably should go in and name them, so we'll just call this um, strap left 01 CL. This is called cluster, like that. And actually, that should be strap right, not strap left. Strap right. Okay. Um, I'll just repeat this as I go down. Make sure I change the numbering on that. Okay, and I'm going to do that for all of these, so I'll just pause the video so we don't have to watch all that. Okay, and uh, might as well just give these the, the correct names as well. So that's the uh, strap right CRV for curve, strap left CRV for curve, and we'll do this also as the strap right IK handle. Strap left, I can handle. There we go, everything is nicely named now. Um, so we'll stop here for this video. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can set up some additional controls to allow us to better move these clusters around in a more interactive way for animators.